Welcome to Winchester Road Baptist Church. We hope you enjoy this drive through Christmas experience. Christmas means different things to different people. Perhaps for you, Christmas means trimming the tree. The holidays may not be fully ushered in at your house until the tree is up and completely decorated. There may be special decorations that are lovingly unwrapped each year and hung on the tree. Your child's first ornament, a beautiful nativity scene received from a friend, a gingerbread man made by your child in school, an angel that reminds you of your mom. And of course, there's the star that goes on top of the tree, shining brightly for all to see through your window as they pass by your house in search of Christmas lights in the neighborhood. Soon, gifts will be placed under the tree and children will wait with wild anticipation for Christmas morning. They will run to the tree and find those gifts that have a tag with their name. Yes, Christmas reminds us that traditions are special. Perhaps for you, Christmas means sharing a meal with family. Memories are made as you share traditional foods passed down through generations. Grandma's stuffing recipe, Aunt Sue's cherry coke salad, Dad's favorite pie, and favorite Christmas candies. There may be a good-natured argument over who's going to carve the turkey. It could be a time that you travel to visit with extended family. Everyone enjoys swapping stories of past gatherings during the Christmas holiday. It's been difficult this year to spend time with loved ones. Some memories of good times shared together are especially precious. Yes, Christmas reminds us that family is important. Perhaps for you, Christmas means gathering the family together to hear Dad read the Christmas story from the Bible. Do you remember when your dad read the story when you were a child? Or when the preacher read it in a special service at church on Christmas Eve? You would sit in rapt attention, listening closely to every word, amazed at the miracle that happened so long ago. Maybe as you got older, you took turns with your siblings reading parts of the story. Do you miss it? Have you forgotten how important it is? Many people in our world today do not know what they are missing. It's the greatest story ever told, and no greater truth will there ever be. Many people in the first century missed out too, but there were some who waited and watched expectantly for the birth of their Savior. Prophets had spoken of Jesus' birth in detail more than 700 years before it happened. Let's travel back over 2,000 years ago and experience this amazing story again. Jesus' birth affected people from all walks of life. There were some shepherds who were in the fields taking care of their flocks. One night, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone brightly over them. They were terribly afraid, but the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day, in the town of David, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. When the angel went back into heaven, the shepherds did not hesitate but went as fast as they could to find Jesus. There were also some wise men looking for the Messiah by studying the stars. They came to Jerusalem asking about a baby that was to be the king of the Jews because they had seen his star in the east and wanted to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was very upset. So Herod called these visitors from the east to a secret meeting and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent the wise men to Bethlehem to make a careful search for the child. He told them, when you find him, let me know so that I too may go and worship him. As you may know, these wise men found the baby Jesus, knelt down and worshiped him. 
They brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and presented them to him. These men were given wisdom by God in a dream, and they did not go back to see King Herod. But why was Jesus born in Bethlehem? Let's travel a bit further back in time to find out. Near the beginning of the first century, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone had to go to his own hometown and register. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David, because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant by the Holy Spirit, and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. They searched everywhere for a place to stay, but all the inns were full. Joseph must have been frantic, searching for a place for his wife to give birth. The only place available was a dirty barn. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in a manger. This was no ordinary baby. This was God's one and only Son. God loved us so much that He sent His Son, Jesus, to the world as a baby. This baby would grow up and die for our sins so that we could live forever with God. Have you accepted what God has offered to you in love? You see, that's what Christmas is all about. Family, traditions, trimming the tree, and giving gifts are all a part of Christmas too. And that's okay. But if we do all that and forget the sacrifice that God made for us, if we forget that Jesus, God's Son, gave His life for us, we have missed the true joy of Christmas. Christmas.